All right. Papa John's, former CEO, John Shatner. It was his restaurant, hence the name Papa John's. But he was ousted after some comments that were deemed racist because he said the N-word somewhere. Now, mind you, <clears throat> he was not calling someone the N-word. He was saying it in a quote or something stupid like that. But <sighs> here's the thing. There, <laughs> there's a comedian. I forget who it was. I think it was Steve Harvey or somebody like that. It was somebody, a big name, said, there's one word that polite society has asked white people not to say, and it seems to be the one word they cannot stop saying. <laughs> so, he seems to have gone off the deep end. If you see recent pictures of him, he looks rather awful. Um, so a report came out that he has now eaten 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. 40. Pizza pies in the last 30 days. So... When he was on the way out, he said there will be a reckoning. So I don't know if he is going to sabotage his former pizza place, or is he just depressed and eating a lot? Because he has commented on the pizza, he said it's not as good as it used to be. I guess he's trying to say under his, um, under his rule, under his guidance, Papa John's was fantastic. I've had Papa John's once, and I think if you put salt on them flowers, it would taste better. So, here we go. Is he going to try to sabotage Papa John's? Here is the business now with the four of wands. So, and then there's the star. Center of attention, hope for the future. And the moon. Two celestial bodies. Always by each other, which tells me when I see them in a reading, when I get the moon and the star in proximity, to me, that means that there's an illusion somewhere. Now, the moon is um, illusion by itself, but what you see is not completely what it is, because when you look up in the star or you look up in the sky, do you know if you're looking at a star or looking at a planet? And with the moon... Of course, it says illusion all by itself. So there seems to be some, it's either he, he was ousted because of his comments or there was something deeper to it. Maybe it was everything all in a row because remember he had the comments with the N-word in it. He had the whole football debacle. He's a Trump supporter. He had the whole minimum wage thing. Like he's had some, a lot of PR mess in these past three years since this Trump been in office. So everything Trump touches dies. So he's not necessarily just in a good place, but sabotage, we'll see. Uh, the Emperor, that would be him. And the Knight of Cups. So interesting. There seems to be a... Um, I think there is an attempt to maybe influence the company from the outside. And I don't think he doesn't have a stake in the company anymore or he is completely gone from it or whatever the case may be. Just because he's not the head of Papa John's does not mean anything because there is still, he's still pulling some strings somewhere. Um, so I think this battle in the public is something different. Like I say, the illusion with the celestial bodies. I think it's an illusion. And he's still very well connected. The Knight of Cups is um, the person bringing that emotional offer of some sort. So he's still very connected. 
Oh, three of cups here. There's the alliance and the two of wands. So he is also planning something new. Um, well, let me clarify the new. There's either a new aspect to the company or a new company, period. So, okay, let me rephrase or re revamp what I just said then. So, I don't think there's sabotage in the company, but I think he may be pulling some resources out of it. There's something good for him. It's good for him on the surface. That's what the Knight of Cups is, but... It's good for him on the surface. Someone is, he has wooed someone. He has connected with someone. Someone is allowing him to celebrate. So he has pulled some resources from that company because it's the, I clarify with the Eight of Pentacles. So there is some work or some resource or some something that he is pulling out of that company. Uh, the fear is the. Will of Fortune, so probably fearing that the turn of the fate would never happen. The hopes is for the Eight of Wands. So he, there's a lot of commotion, a lot of energy around that. What, oh, outcome. Um, yeah, that's what he hopes for anyway. Two of Coins. There's a struggle to juggle. Five of Swords. Yeah, he's starting something new. He's starting something new. I don't know what it is, but he's trying to pull resources out of that company. There is the struggle for balance. Here's the dishonor. The cheat to win type of thing. Yeah, he's, he's pulling resources out. Inside man is his word of warning. Your word of solace. Secrets, High Priestess. Yeah. Do you mark my words? Then there's the powerless and the queen of wands. So, and, and there's, <laughs> what's crazy is someone may find out about this, but there's nothing they can do about it. It's, yeah. He's pulling a resource of some sort out of that company. I don't know if it's a person or a thing, but. Papa John's versus Papa John's. Crazy world. 